NBC News. Former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist. And Trump knows about it. A quote, Galactic Federation, unquote, has been waiting for humans to, quote, reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are, unquote. Haim Eshed. A former Israeli space security chief has sent eyebrows shooting heavenward by saying that earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. The unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. Haim Ished, former head of Israelis, Israel's Defense Ministry's space directorate, told Israel's Yidiot a heronaut or however you pronounce that, newspaper. The interview in Hebrew ran on Friday and gained traction after parts were published in England in English by the Jerusalem Post on Tuesday. A respected professor and retired general, Ished, said the aliens were equally curious about humanity and were seeking to understand the fabric of the universe. Ished said cooperation... Agreements had been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars, where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. There is an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here, he said. Eshed added that President Donald Trump was aware that extraterrestrials' existence has been on the verge of revealing information but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria. They have been waiting until today for humanity to develop and reach a stage where we will understand, in general, what space and spaceships are, Eshed said, referring to the, referring to the Galactic Federation. The White House and Israeli officials did not immediately respond to NBC News' request for comment. Sue Go, uh, Goff, a spokesperson for the Pentagon, declined to comment. A spokesperson for NASA said one of the agency's key goals was the search for life in the universe, but that it had yet to find signs of extraterrestrial life. Although we have yet to find signs of extraterrestrial life, NASA is exploring the solar system and beyond to help us answer fundamental questions, including whether we are alone in the universe, the spokesperson said in a statement. Ishad's ideas are spelled out in more detail in the universe beyond the horizon. Conversations with Professor Haim Ishad by Hagar Yanai, or Yanai, published in November. Eshed, who oversaw the launch of numerous Israeli satellites into space, said he was only speaking out now because attitudes were changing and people seemed more receptive. If I had come up with what I'm saying today five years ago, I would have been hospitalized, he told Yidiot. Quote, today they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my degrees and rewards and I am, res I am respected in universities abroad. In May, Trump said, Space is going to be the future, both in terms of defense and offense. We're now the leader on space, as he was presented with the official flag of a newly created military branch, Space Force. Its focus, along with the Space Command, is on space as a military domain for the U.S., preserving satellites and communications and a focus on geopolitics and new terrain. Eshed's comments immediately spawned jokes and theories online. At least half a dozen accounts have been created on Twitter claiming to be representatives to Earth from the Galactic Federation. <laughs> other users have asked for preferential treatment in meetings with the otherworldly uh, group. Nick Pope, who used to investigate UFOs for the British Ministry of Defense, described Eshed's remarks as extraordinary. Either this is some sort of practical joke or publicity stunt to help sell his book, Perhaps with something having been lost in translation or someone in the know is breaking ranks, he said. Or just a, again, Masonic deception. 
Pope said the UFO and conspiracy theory community was excited, but that questions remained, including whether or not Ishad was speaking from direct personal knowledge and experience or whether he is repeating something he has been told. There are still some missing pieces of the puzzle here, he said. So, that's interesting, isn't it? And these mysterious monoliths are popping up. Okay, so, um, this is from CNN. Monolith sightings spread across the world. The mysterious structures have appeared across the United States and Europe. While some of the people responsible have come forward, other monolith creators remain a mystery. Hmm, I wonder who these creators are. Was that uh they're disappearing too, so why did Art show me how to use a gun? Oh, I just thought how to use uh add what comes next. Is anybody looking? Everyone's looking. Illuminati. <laughs> Everybody kind of knows that 2001 Space Odyssey had three monoliths after watching the Utah one and the Romania one. And we're like, hey, you know, there's going to be a third. So why not? Why don't we build it? There he goes with the 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, 2001. Interesting. So we'll go to that scene in uh, 2001.
<laughs> yeah, then that monkey touches it, and then he gains intelligence. Bill Cooper did all this, uh, you know, what he did with this space odyssey, interpreting it was, uh, you know, it was it was good work he did do. Um, the mystery schools and stuff, this is all symbolic of, you know, primitive man, you know, gaining the forbidden knowledge given by, um, you know, Lucifer and stuff like that. So he touches it and stuff, but I wanted to, uh, um, Ronald Reagan did numerous speeches. Hang on a second. Bear with me. I want to find the uh, one where he's just brief. I don't want to go over the whole. Um, like a whole five, six minute thing. I just, there's like a 50 second clip here where. I think, um, it's the one that I'm looking for is right here. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we... Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oops, sorry about that. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our people than war? Yeah, no goodbye. And there are many other um, presidents that we're talking about. Like there's Bill Clinton talking about, you know, the aliens and what else was I going to... And uh, John Dewey, of course, Cooper did quote him as saying that um, back in um, yep, and he can look at the, the actual speech up. Someone remarked that the best way to unite all the nations on this globe would be an attack from some other planet. In the face of such an enemy, alien enemy, people would respond with a sense of their unity of interest and purpose. We have the next thing to that at the present time. So, that's interesting. So, what do you think, um... Do you think that, um, all this is from aliens or obviously the Illuminati? <laughs> well, you know, the Illuminati is, uh, obviously playing their games again. Of course, there are uh, brother organizations like Freemasonry. Yep, so Freemason obelisks. 
So, you know. It's there. Uh, I think, again, it's... They're probably just mocking us again and how far they are with their agenda and you know. anyways uh yeah so the mystery schools have a thing with the pillars so not notice how they never mentioned that no it's aliens or we don't know, but, you know, those in the know know what's going on. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, they're obviously trying to, possibly trying to pull their alien invasion agenda. Or if there's some people watching that, I guess, believe in that, you and that they're working with the Illuminati. I've I've heard that theory too. Um, you know, I guess, I guess I don't personally know. I just know that there's a lot of signs that the alien agenda is nothing more than one of their deceptions. And I actually made a video from an alien documentary where Freemason showed one of their little Easter eggs in the documentary clip so yeah it's pretty clear but i just wanted to show you some that um so they're continuing on with their deception and their uh, psychological warfare on the american people and the people abroad take it easy